This is our world. Over the next 40 years, the global population will grow from 7 to 9 billion people. And by 2030, our energy demand will have risen by 50%. Today, fossil fuels, coal, gas and oil, supply 80% of the world's energy needs. A reality that is set to continue for decades to come, until renewables become our main source of energy. But here's the problem. When we burn fossil fuels, we emit enormous quantities of carbon dioxide, or CO2, too much of which leads to global warming and the irreversible effects of climate change. So how can this be avoided? As a first step, we need to cut our expected emissions by 50% over the next 20 years, and that's not much time. A solution is greater energy efficiency, more renewables and CO2 capture and storage, or CCS. A technology which has the potential to capture half the world's current CO2 emissions. And here's how it works. Most of these emissions come from power plants, heavy industry and refineries, the largest emitters of CO2. CCS can capture at least 90% of these CO2 emissions before it's transported in liquid form by pipeline or ship and stored safely and permanently far below the Earth's surface. This process simply imitates how nature has stored oil, gas and CO2 for millions of years. But CCS must be deployed rapidly and widely or we won't reduce our emissions on time. That's why this combination of CCS, renewables and energy efficiency will lead us to the sustainable energy systems of the future. ZEP, the EU's authority on CCS.